Good morning, Katie Crew. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> we gonna be doing today i'm going to be cooking showing you my daily routine with these monsters and getting me together um what else we're gonna be talking about some other stuff um i mean i might as well go on and tell you because the title already say we in a market for a house so i'm gonna show you I'm going to show you one of the houses that we just was like no to, but I'm going to show you what we've been looking at so y'all can get an idea. So stay tuned. Let's see if you, y'all, it's a spider on my wall. Oh no. Oh my God, y'all, look at it. What type of spider is that? Hey. <laughs> It's a spider on the wall. You gotta come kill it. <laughs> Babe, for real. <laughs> Babe, you gotta come. Babe, I swear to God, it's a spider on the wall. You gotta come kill it, for real. For real. Babe, can you please? Babe. Babe, come look at it. Babe. Y'all. Babe. Come on, come kill the spider. Where is it downstairs? Yes, it's downstairs. So I guess I have to kill this spider myself, y'all. How to kill a spider? Step one. Did I kill it? Whew. Y'all, I killed that it. That was a lot of words. Like, he knew he could have got out of there and came and killed this spider. But whatever, I'm gonna get myself together. I'm gonna show y'all my face routine, what I do in the morning, and then we're gonna get in this kitchen so I can show you how I take care of this household in the morning, okay? So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss. Now, when I put the video together, this clip just did not have sound. I don't know what happened, I, I just, it just didn't have sound so this is my turmeric scrub mask i didn't make any like tutorial on how to make my turmeric scrub mask because i want y'all to tell me if y'all want it i had this one for my exfoliation for my dead skin it is so perfect and i also have my honey glow turmeric mask which is so perfect for making my skin just pop so y'all let me know in the comments if y'all want to see that now i'm gone because the rest of the video got me talking
I was gonna wash my face when I got out the shower, but I'm just gonna wash it in the shower because this stuff stains, so it's best to just wash it in the shower. This is what I'm gonna be using to wash my face. It's very good for people like with me with eczema, for all skin types, see the feel. Very good for your skin. I'm just gonna wash it off. And when I finish, I'm not going to dry my face off. I'm gonna keep it this wet and then I'll be back. All right. If y'all haven't tried this collection from Dove, get in tune to us, okay? Because, baby, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so my face is still wet. I didn't do nothing like to it. Where is that? So I'm gonna use a paper towel because I don't have any more cotton things. I'm just gonna pat this. I can wipe that because that's the residue from the mask. But really just kind of pat my skin. And then I'm gonna apply some witch hazel as a toner. This is a really good toner if you don't have some, like some toner that you pay hundreds of dollars of. You can use some witch hazel, it'll do the same thing. It will close your pores back. I just want y'all to see my skin, like, for real, get in tune, for real, for real. Ooh, not the yellow on my head. And you already know, my handy dandy rose oil that I make from scratch is almost gone. I'm gonna have to whip up a bunch. But I used the spray, which made it so much easier, but it's getting to the bottom, so all the ingredients. conquer this kitchen what we're gonna cook today and what we're gonna be creating today is bacon omelets with strawberry french toast now i never did strawberry french toast but my husband has so i'm just gonna kind of copy his little recipe and then we're gonna see from there okay my screen <sighs> there we go the ingredients you'll need, of course you need some eggs. So roughly about eight eggs for your omelets and then you need about four to five eggs for your French toast. I use sliced brochet loaf. It is the perfect French toast bread. We're gonna use some strawberry syrup for that as well as some sweet condensed milk. For my ingredients for my omelet, I'm gonna be using pepper jack cheese, cheddar, a half an onion, and bacon. It's in the fridge until I'm ready to start cooking it. So I just cracked all of the eggs in here and I'm going to put this to the side because we're going to start on our bacon. We want our bacon somewhat done before the rest of the omelet. So I have you guys, I have to bend down, or yeah. I have you all sitting on the butter and we're going to get ready to cook this bacon. I mean, if you really don't know how to cook bacon, I just, I, I don't know what else to say. You just put it either in the stove or the, on top of the stove or in the oven and just cook it till you like it. I mean, yeah, so I'm not gonna explain cooking bacon. I'm just gonna cook the bacon, chop it up, 
and then we'll be back to fixing this omelet, okay? okay. While the bacon cook, we can go ahead and mix up our little syrup that we're gonna be using for our French toast. It's very simple. I'm just gonna crack up these eggs like that. And then we're gonna add all of our little syrup. So I add about, oh, I have to open it first. So the sweet and condensed milk is just your sweetener. So it's kind of depending on all how all you want sweet. So I would say about two and a half te tablespoons. It's okay. I have to open this too, apparently. And I'm gonna be using about a cup of the strawberry syrup. It looks so nasty. All right, you mix this up. bacon and chop it up so that they're small pieces and can go easy with our own. Okay, so right now I'm gonna flip these and take these off because these are almost done. All right, go chop up this young onion. So I'm just adding this onion into the eggs. Yeah, so. Oh, my eyes gonna start crying. Then I'll add the bacon. Oh, my eyes, y'all. This is when I would add my seasonings, my black pepper. I will use about a teaspoon of black pepper, about a teaspoon of Tony Satcher's, and a, about a half a teaspoon of garlic. I really don't like the onion garlic taste, but a little bit don't hurt. It's ready to get flipped. I'm gonna add my pepper jack cheese. To the middle. Comes to flipping your 
mama, all you want to do is go on the ends like that. You know, make sure that you can get under without breaking it. That's why it's imperative that you use a lot of butter. Got done eating. The kids are sleeping. Darnell's still on the game. <laughs> but that is all I have for this time on Miss Katie's channel. Of course, subscribe, like, comment, turn on the notifications because you see what's going on here. Like, either you're gonna be a part of it or you just gonna sit on the sidelines. Join my crew right now. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, I almost forgot y'all. Y'all gonna let me forget about the house. So, okay, let me show y'all the house. It's kind of a no for us because we want a bigger backyard and it's just a whole bunch of other stuff that we want for our dream house. So, I'm just gonna let y'all in on this house because it is beautiful. It's a gorgeous house, gorgeous location. So, enjoy until next video. Bye.